Hi, Beth O'Reilly here for Inspired by Design for the month of August. We're here creating a really cool submerged arrangement with mayash flowers. We're gonna use this cylinder vase here. You could use several different sizes of vases. It wouldn't have to be this vase. Um, and first I'm gonna start by creating the arrangement that's actually gonna go inside of the vase and get submerged with water. So I'm just using this block of foam to hold my flowers in place until I can gather them up, create that little arrangement that we're going to put down inside of the vase. So that's what this block of foam is for. So I'm going to do submerge uh, roses because they do really well underwater. I am also going to submerge uh, green trick dianthus. They do well underneath water as well. And we're gonna do some Vanda orchids also. So we're just trying to create some exciting lines that you're gonna see inside of the vase underneath the water. You can do as much or little as you want. So again, this is just holding the flowers in the shape and place that I want them. And what I'm gonna do when I get everything just how I want it is I'm going to gather them up with some Oasis wire. right here at the base of the foam. Okay, so once I've got it to this point, I'm gonna uh, make sure that it's gathered really tightly, real tight and secure with my Oasis aluminum wire. And then I'm just gonna set it aside for just a moment. I'm gonna work some uh, Mitalino sticks in. We've got some beaded wire that we're gonna make it look fancy with. And I'm also gonna add the Vanda orchids. So as I do this, I am working the Mitalino sticks in I'm kind of trying to create some interesting twists and turns. I'll use my beaded wire to kind of hold those in place. So every, uh, everything I'm doing with the Mitalino sticks just adds a little bit more interest. So this is kind of what I'm left with. It's gonna go down inside of this vase. I'm gonna add some Vanda orchids to it to uh, make it even more interesting. And the Vandas, I'm gonna attach to the Mitalino sticks or the stems with this uh, Oasis beaded garland wire. And you just have to make sure that everything's really secure so that it doesn't float when you put it in the water. I always think the base is really important. You don't wanna forget about putting flowers down at the base as well. The base of the vase is where this is going to end up. And it doesn't take a whole lot to create a real stunning visual experience for the submerged flowers. You don't have to use a lot of flowers. And it doesn't have to be as intricate as this. You can just simply do some orchids attached to the wire. But for this, I wanted to really showcase some of the amazing flowers that you can submerge. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside for just a second. I'm gonna uh, take my Oasis wire, and now I have to create something to keep that whole arrangement from floating as well. And the quickest, easiest way that I know how to do it is with the aluminum wire. I create a nice coil, and nobody's gonna see this coil, so it doesn't have to be uh, neat. I mean, you, you, can, you can do these really fast, and they don't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. But for this one, since I use so many flowers, I'm really gonna go ahead and kind of make it a little bit tighter than I might normally do. We've gotta get the wire worked up into this arrangement, so I'm simply just going up and threading it up through the arrangement. Finishing off the wire that I've done here. I'm gonna use the deco sand to kind of cover up all of this. So basically this is kind of what we've got that's gonna be sitting at the bottom of the vase. Just like so. The next trick is gonna be getting some of the sand in there, and I've got two different colors of sand. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the green first. And I'm going to kind of try to keep the sand on the edge of a vase. So you can see we're already starting to cover up that coil. 
And it's kind of cool to mix the sand, I think. That always makes it fun. So now we can add water to this and it won't float. Now that we filled up the vase with water, we're going to create an arrangement on top of the vase, but we have to hide our stems that would show. So we're going to use calathea leaves for that. There's a couple of different varieties of calathea leaves you can ask for from Ayash. I'm actually going to go ahead and use the, the, the green on green because I love the way they look with these colors. So we're just going to carefully place those inside of the vase and let the tension of the leaf gather at the top and hold it there. When we're creating our arrangement, we're gonna have to be really careful that we don't push these down with our stems. I'm gonna add one more leaf. So this was three calathea leaves to go inside of this vase and get them pressed up really tight against the vase. Now I'm gonna make sure that my vase is really dry because I'm gonna use strapping tape and create a grid. I've completed the grid work on the top of this vase and I'm ready to start plugging my flowers in. I'm gonna start with basing in some of this wonderful purple hydrangea. It's a vivid purple, it's really pretty. Again, I'm gonna take lots of care not to get the stems lower than the leaf. And I also want to make sure that I kind of cover the lip of the vase so that you're not seeing any of that strapping tape. Some of my hydrangeas will be lower than others as I base them in. I'm gonna work in some roses next. We have these awesome Dulcetta garden roses. These are fragrant and luscious and beautiful. I'll continue adding some of these amazing Pink Floyd roses that smell so good that's gonna make this arrangement just really be fragrant. Again, I'm color grouping them, blocks of color. Really gonna make a nice statement in this arrangement. Green Trick Dianthus is gonna really make this uh, color statement pop. You can see adding clusters of the Green Trick in. Mayesh also carries this really cool spray rose that I'm gonna add in the arrangement next. It's called Precious Moments. It's a dark lavender. It's got a beautiful rose head on it for a spray rose. It's just phenomenal. So we're gonna work in clusters of these as well. And for an added punch, I'm gonna add some Vanda orchid blossoms. I'm going to actually water tube each individual bloom in and really get a lot of mileage out of one stem of Vandas. And this is kind of too short to fit into the arrangement, so what I've done is I've taped on some hyacinth stakes, and that's just gonna extend a little bit. We really don't want these stakes to go into the water. It's more about kind of like getting into the meat of the arrangement and finding a place to kind of sink in and stay. This is a great way to get a lot of mileage out of each stem, and I can even use this inserted right into the arrangement as well. This is the stem that I've peeled all my blooms off. So I'm gonna to start to work these into the arrangement also.
This completes our really cool submerged face arrangement with Mayesh flowers. I hope it inspires you to create something unique yourself. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.